Good morning. Welcome to story time. Oh, boys and girls, I am going to have to just be so much more excited today because I saw the very first spider lily. And Miss Katrina is going to post the picture. It's a red flower with lots and lots of little tiny petals and no leaves. And there's just one under the tree in my front yard and I drove real carefully down the road this morning on the way to work looking to see if I saw any more. I didn't see a single one. But spider lilies means that fall is on the way. And you know that's my favorite time of the year. So we're all together again. We're here. We're here. We're all together again. We're here. We're here. Who, <clears throat> who knows when we'll be all together again, singing all together again. We're here. We're here. Quit laughing at me. It's just Miss Marie being silly. All right, boys and girls, because it is my favorite time of the year and it's going to cool off. I promise it's going to cool off. But in the meantime, if some of you didn't, some of you might, I hope a lot of you will, get outside and enjoy this cooler weather. It's wonderful. And pretty soon, you're going to be able to kick the leaves because they're starting to fall off the trees. And speaking of fall, I have a fall fun book. Now, this is sports for fall. I have not read this book to you before. I'm not even sure how long have we had this book. Not very long. It's by Finley Frazier and it's a children's press. You see the bear? Tiny little bear up there in the corner. It's called Bearport Press. All right. So, fall sports. It's time for fall fun. There are many sports to play in the fall. Which sport will you play? Now you can tell it's still pretty warm outside because they're in short sleeves and shorts. Yeah, it's, it's still pretty warm outside in the fall. We know that. But in the background, do you see the trees? They're turning colors. It's my favorite time of year. All right. Football is fun. And this person says, when I play football, I wear a helmet and shoulder pads to keep me safe. And for those of you that play football, there's a lot of equipment that is involved in football. You don't just pick up the ball and run outside or not when you're playing real games. And boy, there were some real games this past weekend. Some real upsetting surprise. And who knew they could do that kind of games? Look, they've all got on helmets. My friend throws the football. I catch it and run fast over the crunchy fall leaves. And I score! Yes, indeed. Cheerleaders help us do our best. They cheer for us. They sing songs and do dances, too. And they've got pom-poms or rah-rahs. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Go team! Football is a great sport. It is called a contact sport. You know why it's called a contact sport? Because they run into one another. Mm -hmm. Another good fall sport is soccer. I play soccer in the fall. I like my team and we work together. Now soccer players do not have all of those pads and helmets. And that's kind of interesting. But they have to run, 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 run. It is really good exercise. Yes, indeed. And soccer in other countries is called football, which can be a little bit confusing. 
I have the soccer ball and I kick it to my friend. See? Kick. And she runs into the goal and she scores. Yep, yep, yep. Soccer doesn't usually have real high scoring games. If you make four or five goals in a soccer game, that is really, really something. They work very hard to keep the score from happening. Oh, look what else can happen in the fall. Track. I run fast when I do track and I run in races. My sister runs too. She is so fast. Yep, yep. Kind of looks like our stadiums now. Not a lot of people. It's fun to play sports and it's fun to watch sports. Sometimes I watch fall sports on TV with my family. Got the popcorn and got everybody together. Boy, I'll bet whatever the team is, if they do a big score, you might see that bowl of popcorn go flying through the air. Yep, it happens. So there are many fall sports. Playing sports is one of the best things to do in the fall. Now, we're going to stop for a second and say those are all outside sports. But there's some inside sports that start in the fall, and one of those is basketball. They don't talk about basketball in this book, but here is an interesting fact. Did you know that the first footballs were round and they were very heavy? And most of the time, they just kicked the ball. And eventually, they made them a little bit lighter and they started to make them so that the ends were pointed. And boys and girls, do you see they're stitched? Yeah, there's stitches on that one too. And what were they made of at one time, do we know? Well, according to this book, it says parts of pigs. Do you have some extra information? I do not, but just I remember the old saying, let's go throw around the old pig skin. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's where the saying comes from. That's what it comes from, because it says they were made from parts of pigs. Skin. Skin. I don't think they have very many other parts they could do that with. But I do know that at one point in time, they were very heavy, and the football players wore leather caps that were made from pig skin, and that was all their helmet consisted of. Now, you and I both know that there's a whole lot of whoing that goes on on a football field, and they have some extremely sophisticated, fancy, expensive helmets now because there's this thing called concussion when you hit your head and you don't want to get a concussion. It's not good for the brain. Speaking of hitting, let us hit on to the next book, which is about a pig. They call it a hog. It's by Larry Brimmer, and it's a children's press. It's a rookie reader. And boys and girls, this is a little bitty book, so I'm going to hold it so you can see. I'm shedding my hair. When my Nana rides through town, do you see her earrings? You see that, boys and girls? What is she riding on, for heaven's sakes? It's a big pig, and they call it a hog. People stop. They stop what they're doing, and they look to see what is happening. And they point. It's not nice to point at people, but they got to point at this. The lady is riding a hog. For goodness sakes. This little girl is saying, look! Sometimes they frown. Now when you frown, usually that's because there's a problem. Hmm. Or maybe you're thinking real hard. Hmm. Frown. 
some people frown before they get mad. They don't look happy, do they? They don't think it's very granny-like to ride a hog through town. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you see this kitty cat right there that's got its paw on the mouse's tail? For goodness sakes, I think the mouse is trying to pull the tail away from the kitty cat. People in town say, act your age. Act your age. Now, boys and girls, I really don't understand what that means. But I think it's got something to do with acting like a grown-up. Oh my goodness, they're telling this granny she should use a cane. Use a cane. I don't know what she'd need a cane for. To help her walk, maybe? Does she look that old to you? She doesn't look that old to me. Hmm. Do you see the bird head on the cane? And there's a fish on that one. Can you see it? They suggest that she try a three-wheel bicycle. Now, little kids that are learning to ride bicycles ride three-wheel tricycles. Three for tricycle. Triangle has three sides. Look at that. Three Sisters Bike Shop. And they all look alike. I guess they're triplets. Three. There's just all kinds of interesting things in a book, boys and girls. And I see one, two, three kitty cats that all look the same. But Nana waves and her pig earrings wave in the air. She's not frowning. She rides on by her hog, dressed up just right. Oh my goodness. The, I know you can't see this, boys and girls, but the pig has on a bracelet, and it says, I am a hog. I am a little bitty tiny letters. Got to look at the pictures. Miss Marie's always telling you that. How about that? <laughs> And so Nana shouts, no thanks, not now. Don't need a cane, don't need a three-wheel bicycle. My hog's just fine. Want to give him a try? Hmm. And they shake their head and they move away. They go on about their business. This is a nice little town. Nice little town. <clears throat> Nana thinks that'll be the day that they want to try her hog. And this one's got a bandana on, and that one's got a bandana on, and the three sisters are on one hog. That'd be a mighty strong hog. My Nana laughs, and she helps me up. She picked her granddaughter up from school. That'd be a pretty neat way to go home. Pretty neat way to go home. Well, are you going our way? Would you like to go to Nana's farm? Wouldn't that be fun? Can you see the rabbits? I wonder if Nana raises pigs or hogs. You know what they call it where the hogs are kept? It's called a hog parlor. I promise I did not make that up. My husband's family used to have a hog parlor down in Port Gibson and they raised pigs and it was a very messy business. Kind of smelly. Anyway, so boys and girls, 
we will stop for today. I hope that you are going to get outside in this little bit cooler weather and enjoy it. It's going to be fall soon, soon. And take care, boys and girls. Come and see us. I want to know what you've been doing. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.